A shadow product is an alternative product profile of a product. For example, a product like a camera can be assigned a parent skew and a shadow skew. Now, the same camera is defined by two skews. Doing this enables you to create a separate profile for each skew, including the product title, images, highlights, and descriptions. It also links with the inventory of the parent product, so inventory of the actual product is maintained. If a shadow product is sold, the inventory count of both the parent and the shadow SKUs are reduced. And when inventory is added to the parent product, the shadow product's inventory increases as well. Here are a few common scenarios where using shadows can be helpful. Number one, when you want to list an item in two categories. For example, a handcrafted watch should ideally be listed both under handcrafted jewelry and under regular watches. However, you will not be able to list identical SKUs in both categories. Creating a shadow will create multiple IDs for the same product, enabling you to list it under a second category. Number two, when selling a product on Amazon in two formats, like Merchant Fulfilled and FBA. Each format requires a separate merchant SKU, which can be accomplished by creating a shadow. Number three, when selling a product that is an accessory for other products. For example, Amazon assigns separate ASINs for cell phone chargers for different brands and models of phones. A cell phone charger for a Samsung phone will have one ASIN, while the charger for a Nokia phone will have another. When selling a generic charger that is compatible for both brands, you would want to list your charger under both ASINs. Creating shadows of the same item will enable you to attach each shadow to a different ASIN. Here's how to create a shadow product. Open the toolbox on a product and scroll down to Shadows. On this page, you can do one of three actions. Assign a parent SKU of the current product, in which case the product you currently have open will assume a shadow status. Create new products that will become shadows of the opened product. Or you can add existing products as shadows of the opened product. To assign a parent SKU, enter an existing SKU or select one from the catalog. Now click the Assign Parent button. To create shadow SKUs for the current product, enter a new SKU in the text box and click Create New Shadows. To add existing products as shadows, click Add Existing Product to search and add existing products. Once the shadow is created, you can adjust the profile of the product. A shadow will contain a link to the parent so that you can navigate from the shadow to the parent. Likewise, you can view and navigate from a parent to a shadow by locating the Shadows panel on the parent product and clicking on the Shadow SKU links. On the Product Warehouse page of a shadow, you'll see the warehouse placement of both the shadow and the parent with their quantities displayed in the Product Warehouse grid. When an order comes in for a shadow SKU, the shadow SKU will appear on the order page in Seller Cloud. However, if you want to have the parent SKU to display on the order instead, check the client setting Display Shadow Parent SKU in Manage Orders. You can also keep the shadow SKU on the order page, yet have the parent SKU print on the invoice. This can be done in ShipBridge. Open the menu and click Options. Open the Invoice tab and check Print Parent instead of Shadow SKUs. When generating a pick list for orders with a shadow SKU, the pick list will list the parent SKU instead of the shadow. For more information on shadows, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.